The next little complex subsystem in here is the music player. If you see over here, I've got an image of a uh, tape cassette, for those of you old enough to know what that is. Um, go ahead and press that icon, and you see I've got a grid of different um, macros here. Uh, there's stop all, there's um, this thing called before the storm. These are just different audio tracks, skirmish, fishing village. And um, you can see there's little macros in here like pound M05. Over here we have pound M01. And yes, I do insist on calling it the pound sign. Um, over here you have thunder loop, pound T. So this is the weather system. These are designed so that you can layer things on top of each other. So if you want, you know, light rain and light wind all the way up to heavy rain, powerful wind and thunder, um, you can create, you know, any sort of uh, weather situation for the most part. Um, then there's separate buttons to stop each of those three columns. You can see how that's organized. Um, what this is doing is using a bunch of macros that I've defined in Roll20, which again, I will post along with this video. Um, and uh, it's using a plugin, um, what's it called, uh, an API script. So you need to have the um, $10 a month or whatever it is, um, API subscription, <clears throat> uh, pro subscription, I think is what it's called, uh, for Roll20 in order to, to use this system. Uh, but if you like using uh, music in your games, it sure makes things easier.